friend welcome to my engineering hub this is nater chief engineer ravi gupta today we going to talk about exhaust valve isolation in today video we will try to learn that what valve we should close to ensure that the exhaust valve is properly isolated before carrying out any maintenance so in today video we will know step by step what action we need to check to make sure that the exhaust valve overhauling before doing any overhauling that exhaust valve is properly isolated so before doing any isolation we should must know about the hcu block all parts so as you know this is the fuel oil booster unit this is the actuator unit this is the accumulator this is the alpha lubricator cylinder lubrication this is the 560 valve which is the high pressure oil going for actuation of the lubricator 420 this 420 is the main and most important valve which you need to remember the 420 is a valve through which high pressure servo oil is entering each hcu block so 420 valve is a main valve through which the high pressure servo oil is entering to the each hcu block 421 is a drain valve for draining the hcu block 406 and 405 is for draining the fuel valve 430 and 431 is for the double wall pipe so the thing we need to concentrate is the these three thing 420 421 and 455 it look like this 420 is the this big valve and the number is engraved 421 is this and 455 is this so this is called mini mess point in which here we will connect the pressure gauge to check what is the pressure inside the hcu unit so this is the exhaust valve by design and in order to make sure that it is properly isolated before carrying out any overhauling so how to before doing any overhauling or lifting it out we need to take out this connection that is the oil inlet connection drain connection and this sealing oil connection but doing all that before that we first in, in order to make, make sure that we need to do the proper isolation so the first thing we will do is the closing of the 420 valve so this 420 valve will close it so when we close this 420 valve the high pressure servo oil going to that hcu block will be stopped after that we will open this 421 so that the remaining oil inside the hcu will be drained out after it get drained out through this mini mesh coupling we will measure the pressure that what is the pressure which it is showing so we will measure the pressure from this mini mesh coupling so when it is showing the pressure is dropping after that we will close the 531 valve which is the oil shut off to the oil damper then we will go to the mop panel and this mop panel we will see from input output test the signal of the exhaust valve what is showing before doing the opening of the exhaust valve we need to first drain the air piston air so we will use a mandrel we will put inside and we will drain the air through this non-return valve and after that we will remove the all the oil connection and then we can take out the exhaust valve so what we are doing so first we are closing this 420 valve after that we are draining this by 421 then we are to this point we are checking to minimize coupling that what is the pressure the system is drained or not after system is getting drained we will setting of the oil to the damper and then we are putting a mandrel and draining this air which is in the air piston when this air which is here is been drained to this non-return valve the exhaust valve will drop down and this will be recorded through this sensor feedback sensor and this you can see to the mop panel that whether the exhaust valve is open or not and after the system is depressurized and the exhaust valve is open condition 
now you can remove this inlet all to a damper you can remove the ceiling all unit you can remove this air drain on drain pipe and everything and then you can lift the exhaust valve out for carrying out the maintenance so friend if you have learned something from this video then please do like share and don't forget to subscribe friend those who are watching the video till now i want to tell you please see our membership you can find a lot of video which will be beneficial for your class 1 class 2 and class 4 i guarantee that after watching all the exclusive video you will get a lot of benefit for your examination so please take the membership and those who are want to learn me engine you can go to the playlist and you can find all the link all the video of each and every component whatever you want to learn you can learn from there thank you friend have a good day